for more mobilization of foot soldiers will in turn turn to votes in the next year's February presidential election. Southwest Agenda for Ashiwaju 2023, a foremost and grassroots support group for Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu 2023 presidential ambition, has launched its women's wing in August State. At the well attended unveiling, which took place in Nabeokuta, the state capital, the popular signature anthem of Tunubu on your mandate, we shall stand, was lauded and it was a beauty to behold. Speaking at the colorful event, the national chairman of Swaga, Senator Dayo Adeye, said it was encouraging to note that the movement is now a formidable force and poised to deliver on Tunubu Shetima presidency come 2023. Adeye urged the women to demonstrate that they are two ambassadors of APC presidential candidates and also work towards winning more converts to the party ahead of the forthcoming general elections. This flag is not for decoration. This flag is not for decoration. What do you use the flag for? We are giving you flag as a post of you will use this flag to go and campaign everywhere. We have added new flags. This flag you will take it to every home, to, every, to the marketplaces, to every nook and cranny of a good state, to canvas for both. In a hard dress, the national president of the women's wing of Swaga, Honorable Ayo Omidiron, explained that the inauguration of the women's wing was informed by the realization that women are critical stakeholders in votes conversing for mobilization of people during election season. We formed the women's wing because the national working committee of Swaga was Other stakeholders of Swagger who spoke highlighted the importance of the women's wing to their mission. The simple message is very simple. We've inaugurated it at the state level. We want them at the state level to go to the local government, from the local government to the ward level, and from the ward level to the polling unit to go and propagate the message of Ashwaju. We have listened to his manifesto and we could see what he said in the manifesto. And that is going to benefit Nigerians, all the youths, all the women, the security angle. This is a very rich manifesto. Women have a lot of role. It's a very, very spectacular one to ensure that we mobilize votes for Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu come 2023. They are the ones that interact so much with the society.